platform is a curated space of 10 galleries within the London Art Fair, um, all responding to a theme. This year, the theme is the relationship between contemporary art and music. There has been a long tradition of, a long history of painters responding to music and wanting to kind of embody a musical quality within their work. Um, artists like Kandinsky spring to mind, Paul Clay, who's, you know, also a successful musician. Um, more recently, someone like Peter Blake and his um, depictions of musicians. I was asked by um, James from Zimmer Stewart to put together this body of work and um, I had I, I had been painting sort of fairground themed um, paintings over a sort of quite a long period of time and I began to think about them in relationship to music and the um, the sound you know the, the fairgrounds have a sort of different layering of music and sounds within them. They're kind of an all-engrossing space of visual qualities and musical qualities. My paintings then um, came out of playing with this idea of the what you, what you can't depict within a painting, so that, you know, painting is a visual medium and the sort of imagining the sounds and the music that's going with the, the images. Um, and they're sort of creating visual analogies of the um, uh, the sort of layering effect of music within a fairground. Yeah, and I've always been struck by, um, I think there's a Poussin painting in the National Gallery of a, a Bacchanal where there's you know a man playing a a pipe, a, a horn within the the scene, and suddenly that the sound of that horn that you kind of imagine kind of sets the tone for the whole painting. Um, and I sort of wanted to do something kind of similar um, using fairgrounds. <laughs> I think both projections and fairgrounds work with a kind of an existing set of images. I mean, the fairgrounds an incredibly familiar. Um, symbol almost that we all know and that you can kind of then play around with it. The, the projection series were based on um, some found family photographs that I found on a trip to America of um, family life in the I think it's 19 sort of 50s or 60s um, uh, and I became interested in these photographs more as sort of symbols and the way in which um, they could you sort of, you, you you would have to sort of have to put yourself within these um, situations and also yeah as, as you say documenting the um, you know the the way the clothes the um, the sort of interior you know a few of them were of interiors of restaurants and stuff and you know the sort of interior decoration within there um, and also creating a new space that you know, sort of moving them beyond the documentary into a sort of more kind of magical imagined um, realm I think. Slide is an exciting painting for me because it does something that I've been exploring a lot within my work, which is this relationship between the abstract and the figurative. And so um, you have this almost, what I, I sort of relate it to almost like a musical scale of colors or keys um, that takes up a large proportion of the painting. Um, and so you'll sort of read it, you can read it both as a kind of abstract work and as something um, very recognizable and um, Figurative, I suppose. Um, this was a very sort of deliberate response to um, the theme, I suppose, in the, to try and create something that did have a musical relation. Um, I'd following a trip to Lithuania, I'd been to see um, the museum of um, Chirlionis, who was a composer and a painter, and he had 
made several paintings in, sort of entitled Fugue or Sonata, and I, sort of following on from that idea, I made a series of works that explored one image and sort of seeing the different ways in which I could interpret that image and sort of pull it apart, bring it back together, the levels of what is depicted, what is left out, and the colour choices, and trying to get some sort of sense of movement from the first painting to the last painting. 